All right, I'm going to show you how to make a very good and very inexpensive vacuum chamber. Um, if you're like a lot of people, when you look at vacuum chambers, ones they offer $120, $130 plus for a decent vacuum chamber. Um, I found one you can do less than $40 and not very hard. Maybe even less than that, depending on the hardware you use. Now, my background is pipe fitting and pipe welding, so what I did, I took a little uh, quarter inch T, a quarter inch coupling, threaded these together, and also put a little valve <coughs> on the end. This is to release the pressure with. I welded the coupling into a washer, just a big flat washer. And I drilled four holes in it, and the way I did that, as you can see, I just basically took a square and crossed it and drilled in the four corners, which gives me a pretty even, even out spacing. And I have four bolts with two little flat washers and a lock washer to go on them. Now, uh, I'm going to hook up an air chuck on this side so that I, I can only have the air hose hooked up to this, which I'm going to use for a vacuum hose when I'm ready to vacuum. And that way it's not pulling on my lid. Now, as far as for your vacuum chamber, here it is. Very, very expensive piece. Extremely hard to find. 100% acrylic, 8 inches around. There's a lock on it. as a silicone seal. You can get this at Sears and Roebuck for $19.95. And... With having a clear one, as you've seen on some of the others, you can tell when it's bubbling. You can tell when the air is through uh, coming out of the wood. There's not necessarily a need for a gauge. You can do all that by sight. So, essentially what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece. I'm going to set it on here. I'm going to drill a hole out in the center for it to suck the air out of the chamber. Then I'm going to mark and I'm going to drill four holes through here and I'm going to put the washers and lock washers on the bottom side. And then I'm going to silicone this real good on top as I bolt it down so it has a good hard seal. Now that gives you an idea of what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll come back later after I've drilled these holes and watch putting it together.